Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's reading, we're doing what's the tea on your life right now. And we have three beautiful piles. Pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. Warning, these readings are very detailed. So if one doesn't resonate, please feel free to click on the next reading. Let's go. So for the viewers that picked pile number one, get comfy, grab your favorite drink, because we're about to find out what's the tea on your life right now. And everyone knows that I'm super excited for these type of topics. This is my thing, and I'm here for the tea, okay? These are readings for entertainment purposes. If you are sensitive or you cannot take the heat, click on another video, please. Okay, so let's find out. Um, what's the tea on my pile number one's life? What's the tea on my pile number one's life? Oh my God, I'm super excited. I'm super excited. Why am I super excited? Are you guys super excited to get a car? Like super excited to like start something, a new job, a uh, wardrobe? So let's see. What's the tea on my pile number one's life? What's the tea on my pile number one's life? So the tea on your life right now is that a lot of people are concerned with um, maybe like some sort of disappearance. Did you just get up and disappear? Did you just get up and like leave a relationship? Did you just get up and just stop talking to your family? Like did you do any something like something like very disappear mode? Could even be with like a friend like that you just like disappeared on. The tea on you <laughs> is that people don't know what's going on with you, what's going on in your mind, what's going on in your head. Um, for this group, people might try to say that the tea on you is like that maybe you're going a little crazy, like you're 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 going through a mental like challenge or something like that. Like pile number one, that's what I'm getting. But stick around, please don't don't be scared and click off yet. Um, whew, um I'm getting other messages. Tea on you is that you're dealing with somebody that's younger than you. The tea on you is that. Somebody that's younger than you is talking about you and your relationships or your friendships right now. Maybe it's like a sibling or like someone around you. Something about your life though is very closed off. That's the tea. The tea is that you've been keeping to yourself but you haven't been speaking to anybody. The tea on you is that if you have like any children, the tea on you is that you're not letting anyone see your children. That could be the tea about you right now, your life. The tea on you is that there's a king of cups, a cancer, water man, Scorpio man that is um, in a third party right now. So if you were like questioning if a relationship that you were in, an ex that you were with was dealing with somebody or dealing around, this is your confirmation that that is the tea. And I can see here that that is true for some, not all, but for some, okay? Um... Let's get more messages here. More clear messages on what's the T on my pile number one. What's the T on my pile number one? Um, Someone recently wore like a dress to an event. The T on you is that you was like the best dressed or like you were studying in that dress. The T on you is that um, you need some balance when it comes to some work life. Somebody, um, the tea on you is that you've been working too hard or stressing out too much or you have a lot of stresses right now. Spirit is coming in. They're saying that to stop being so hard on yourself, the tea on you is that you're doing actually better than what you think you're doing. Like you're on the right track. Like maybe some of you guys have been like wanting to push yourself, push yourself. I feel like this group is the group that's always trying to like reinvent and always try to fix their life. And it's like you're not you're not appreciating the, the current moment because you're too busy trying to always fix your life, tr trying to fix your life instead of living in the moment and realizing that every day is. A constant change every day is a better day to learn and if you look back five years ago you're definitely doing better than what you did five years ago so that's what's very wants to let you guys know um 
the tea on you is that somebody is finally meeting somebody that matches their vibe so remember earlier that i said there was somebody that was cheating or like messing around or an ex that was messing around you were right in that sense but for somebody here somebody's messing with a person that is genuinely really good for you and like bringing balance into your situation Let's see, what is the T on your life? What is the T on my pile number one's life? What is the T on my pile number one's life? The T on you is that there's a Gemini in your life that is not is not a friend. There's a Gemini woman, older woman or family member, or I, I just see a Gemini woman in your life right now that is not on your side. And if you think that this is somebody to confide in, the T is that that's not a person to confide in. The T is that this person been been running their mouth about you behind the scenes whether it's an aunt a family member someone around you the tea on you is that people be using you for your for money somebody around you has been using you for money for finances or like to stay somewhere maybe in your house the tea on you is that you have an enemy in your house that's for some not all like i don't know if you've been letting somebody stay over um, please start counting their days. Um, um, but somebody here, the T on you is that you have an enemy that's close to you and you don't even know it. Pile number one, be very careful because this person, they might, um, they might feel like they have some sort of authority over you, even though you're probably helping them. It's like those people that in life that you helped them, but they feel like so entitled. They feel like you owe them that in a way. But there's somebody here close that's actually an enemy. So you got to be very, very careful. I also heard that the tea on you is that your house is worth more than what you think it is. It does. If someone's been trying to sell a house here or like something with the house, pile number one, it's saying wait a couple more years. I don't know because the value is going to rise or you're going to have enough money to get the house something like that wait a couple years that's what it's saying like if you're in a rush right now to buy a home it's saying wait like two more years or like a year because the house might go down in price or i see that whatever you're trying to sell is actually worth more than what you think so like to hold it down for a little bit longer The T on you is that people don't really know what to say anymore or how to judge you because you finally kind of like realize who was really there for you and who was and who wasn't. Or who was actually the real the real ones and, and now with the moon in reverse. It's like you're you're very much clear about your surroundings, but but somebody here, maybe you're not catching on to this one little energy, like this one Gemini. The T on you is that you're actually much more better looking than what you think you are. You're someone that's probably very humble for, for the way you look. Okay, that's the T on you. The, the bigger T on you is that there's some sort of like justice going on. I don't know if it's like with HR or like your job or like a lawsuit or like with an inheritance. But you're actually going to end up winning. But the T is that it's going to cause a lot of chaos or chaos around you. So in this reading, though, I got a lot of messages from spirit. So I could definitely sense that somebody here is very closed off. And so a lot of the tea on you is from the spirit realm. Like it's not like a lot of people having sh ish to talk about. But one of the um things that I keep saying that it's like a group of people are going to be against you. So something is going to happen that's going to go in your favor. But it's kind of like the like life is preparing you to accept people not messing with you after that. Or accept the fact that some people are not going to be happy for you. But that's okay because you've been alone. Life has been preparing you to be alone. It's not like these people were there for you. Or like they're, you know, significant or important or anything. It's like, you know, maybe you felt like nobody really had your side. Maybe like ever. And it's like life was kind of preparing you for a moment where you're really going to see people for who they are. And it's going to kind of make you... 
want, you know, it's going to make it easier to move forward as if you were always surrounded by people. You're probably going to take it harder that people don't want to be around you or want to come against you over something. But it's like you're going to get some sort of win with the Queen of Pentacles, but it's going to cause some drama. And I'm really getting that it's in family, in law, family, cousins, um, siblings. It's, it's, it's something with family or like the people closest to you. I'm so sorry for that. But the good news is that you're going to end up winning. And whatever you lose in this chapter was never really meant for you. So don't really take it to heart. Don't really like take it personal. Okay. It's like life has been preparing you for this moment. All right. And if that doesn't really resonate, um, you've had some people at work that, that have been going against you. Um, I see you getting in a higher position than these people. So if you found yourself um, getting bullied or antagonized by a group of people at work or somewhere where there's like an event, like church or whatever, um, or like school, I see that in a way you're going to be like the boss of everybody or you're going to be in a higher position than anybody and that's going to literally be your justice um it's going to still make them hate hate you but at the end of the day they were they were already hating they were already hating so but now they're going to have to really have a reason to hate you and that's the tea on you that maybe you've been going through hell with a certain group of people but now you are literally about to meet you you really about to go through being in a higher position and the T could also be on you is that people hate on you because you're in a high position or, or because you got a lot of money or because that's what they think, that you really doing good in your career or that you got a lot going on for yourself when it comes to finances or like career. Like you got it going on for yourself. So if you find yourself having like people always debating you, always trying to come against you. The reason is, pile number one, is because they already feel like you're doing better than them. They feel like you have some sort of, like, like monetary advantage, some sort of, like, you know, pretty privilege, some sort of, like, inheritance, some sort of, like, advantages that they don't have, okay? So, you might, you, you know, you might admire people, but people, the whole time, they just feel bad being next to you because you remind them of what they are not. Okay, pawn number one, and I'm so sorry. Because I feel like you're such a good person, but I feel like life has made you become the four of pentacles. And that's the T on you. Like, you're really closed off. And it might give, like, you think you're the shit-ish type of energy, but it's not that. It's, it's not that you think you're the ish. You know you're the ish. It's just that you got to protect your ish. You know what I mean? You got to protect your energy. You got to protect yourself because you've let people in and they've just proved to you so many times how they should have never been in how they should have never been given the opportunity to, to, you know the um the time of day but somehow you still did okay and you know i just feel like you're someone that you learn from your lessons you don't dwell on them but you learn from your lessons and you learn to take little red flags serious so yeah, that's all that I'm getting here. Thank you so much for clicking on my pile number one. Bye guys. So for the viewers that picked pile number two, let's find out what is the T on my pile number two's life right now? What's the T on my pile number two's life right now? What's the T on their life? On their life. What's the T on their life? I heard someone's cute. What's the T on their life? What's the T on their life? X begging. What's the T on your life? I heard the tea on you is that you have an ex that wants to beg for you right now or is begging for you right now, but it's almost like you will never find out or like you will never give them a chance. So it's either you don't know that an ex wants you back. Somebody here is mad that you're not, you're not friends with them anymore or that you found like another group of friends or another group of people. Somebody doesn't like that. Um, I'm getting like that energy. Like some people felt like you were they were your do all or end all. And it's like you come you come around with your new friends. So like maybe some people felt like you were gonna be alone or isolated and not really have the support that they were gonna probably offer you. But it's like this toxic ass support. Like I don't know why I'm getting that. Like it's some toxic ass support. Like it's not like a a lovable friendship or loyal tea it's more of like a, a big toxic group and so these people could have felt like you know they were your do or end all and 
you kind of showed them that you were okay being alone or even okay with your own company. Like, you showed them that you have your own table, you have your own group of people, you have your own friends. Okay, I don't know why these people had the idea that you basically had nobody. Maybe you used to say that, that you really didn't have anybody, but you, you kind of did. Okay, or maybe you just didn't know that so many people were going to show up for you. The hot seat on you is that you're in your own world. Um, nothing seems to bother you. That's the tea on you. Nothing seems to really like shake your boots. Um, this current moment. Um, the tea on you is that people wish you were like more charismatic or like needed them more or like wanted to be around them more. Something about like some people feel like stuck in their head because of your lack of. I don't know if you used to reach out a lot to certain people or like you used to always be the first one to reach out but they would never reach out to you or you will always try to be near certain people but it's like somehow you stop you stop looking for people you stop searching for people you stop trying to contact people contact those old friends contact those, that group of people that always seem to step all over you like you just stop reaching out for them you stop acting like you cared um, that's the tea on you. The tea on you might be that you're still like you're you're like holding some sort of grudge or you feel bad about something that happened in the past. The tea on you is that you're very strong, like maybe like physically strong or like emotionally and mentally strong. Like you're not someone that could be easily like like somebody could easily change your mind. You know, like, if you say you're not going somewhere, you're not going. Like, nobody could, like, try to convince you to not go somewhere, okay? Um, The tea on you is that some people don't like how you're standing up for yourself or standing up for your self-love. And I'm not saying standing up for yourself could be that you slap everybody. No, it could be, like, that you just walk away or, like, you just ignore or you just, like... Forget about people that are not really doing much for you. And not even doing much for you because somebody, you know what I also noticed? Somebody could like do a lot for you and still not be good for you. Like someone could show up for you, like try to always give you things or like, how can I explain it? Like give you things or like offer help or offer things, but not really, really be good to you i don't i don't really know how to explain that because i've experienced that like people that do you favors like for example like they do you favors like they offer you gifts they offer you things they offer stuff offer help but then you find out that they're not loyal to you behind your back you find you know they say like rude things to you they, they're disrespectful, you know, so it kind of like cross off all the things that they try to show up for in that sense. But someone here is upset that you're not showing up for them or you're not looking for them or you're not like begging for them. Could also be that ex, but I'm getting my group of people because I got the three of pentacles and the three of cups. The tea on you was that a group of people were expecting you to come back. I don't know if it was like your family, group of friends, these people right here. I'm getting like three women, three men. They were like expecting you to come back somewhere, but you didn't. Or like the tea on you is that you've gotten a falling out with some people. Even if it seems like you guys are cool, you're you've really fallen out. So maybe you've painted the facade to other people like that you're fine with some people, but you're really not. I feel like you could probably be the type of person that if you don't really want to be around certain people, you're not gonna make them think that you're their enemy or that you hate them. It's just more like, oh, I'm busy. Sorry, I work now. Oh, I have things to do. I'm so sorry. I'm so tired. You know, you kind of, like, avoid them in a subtle manner. So that if they, like, blow up, like, they look crazy. Okay, so smart way about moving. <laughs> My partner too is so smart in the way that they move. Okay, let's get more, more cards because I was getting a lot of energy. 
with these six cards. Let's see here. What is the T on my pile number two's life right now? What is the T on my pile two life right now? Oh, you getting that money. You getting that money. You're giving to yourself. You're giving to others. Or life has been treating you really good financially. Maybe you have multiple streams of income. The Empress card. Oh my God, somebody's like probably pregnant like me. Oh my God. Um, shout out to y'all. Shout out to everybody having a baby next year. So, okay. So it could be that. It could be that the tea on you is that you're pregnant or that you've been experiencing your pregnancy. Maybe like feeling a bit lonely or people think you're lonely but it's like you're fine so someone here might be going through something like lonely but like maybe like a new project or like something new in their life like moving out having a child um a new job as well because that's what i'm getting here a new project but it's like you seem to be doing fine or you seem to be having whatever you need like you're good like your cup is filled here okay Um, I also heard like the tea on you is that you're leaving people behind. The tea on you is that you're getting rewarded really well for something. Maybe it's for you. You've been receiving a lot of gifts, or you're about to receive a lot of gifts. Um, the tea on you is that you have a lot of luck, or a lot of like options, or like a lot of things, good things coming in for you. But, like, it's all about, like, finances here. Like, problem number two, I'm not going to lie. The T on your life is that your finances have been leveling up. And if you don't feel that way, it will. It will run its course. Remember that you create your reality. So remove any, like, ideas, thoughts, or feelings of not being abundant, okay? So problem number two, I definitely feel here, like, you guys are getting everything you deserve when it comes to finances so that's the tea on you and the tea on you as well is that you're satisfying your own life like you're becoming the person that makes everything special for yourself i, I don't want to say you used to be dependent but it's like you're showing people how big and independent you really are like you're showing people that you're okay with being alone. You're okay with not talking to anybody. You're okay with being alone. You're okay with starting over. You're okay with moving on from your ex because good things are always in store for you. And that's what it seems. So it's like when people felt like you needed them, now they're like, this person didn't need us or anybody. This person is good. This person never needed anybody. It's like you never needed a nobody. Like you didn't need anybody. And that's the tea on you that you don't you don't need anybody for anything. Not even an ex and not even a damn group of friends. Because You've always had your own. Let's see. What's the T on my pile number two's life? What is the T on my pile number two's life? Somebody's been like very private with their social media I'm getting here. Maybe you're just not really posting the way that you used to that's the tea on you the tea on you is that you've been going through a big life change and it's just like people are in the dust about what's really happening so you have a lot the tea on you is that you have a lot of people that have you in their mind you're not being very warming right now you're not really being open you're not really being someone that that people can just easily go up to, okay? You're being very intimidated right now. That's the tea on you. You're very intimidating. But there's something beautiful about your mind. There's something beautiful that's, that keeps carrying you up. 
And I'm not going to lie, I probably sense here a little bit of sadness. Maybe from what you've let slide or what you've allowed in the past or what you're now getting over, okay? But regardless, the tea on you is that everybody can see your strength. Everybody can see how you're not up with the BS no more. You're not no one's mat. And you don't need anyone, okay? Maybe, I don't know, I feel like you're the type of person that you just give people the wrong idea. Like, right off the bat, people might think you're one uppity. or like, yeah, you're uppity, not one uppity. What is that? But, like, you're uppity or, like, too bougie. And then they quickly realize that you're not that person. Or if not, it's, like, people think that you need them. Like, you're on your knees for them. And then the whole time they realize that it was never about them. Like, you didn't need them. And if anything, you ever you only came around because you wanted to, right? So that's all that I'm getting here. Thank you so much for clicking on this reading. Bye, guys. So for the viewers that picked pile number three, let's find out what's the tea on your life. What's the tea on your life? I heard glamour, drama, murder. Whoa, it's getting intense over here. Someone's father got murdered. That's the tea on this right now. And I don't mean for these messages to come out like that. But somebody wants to like say some shit about that. Somebody wants to open up about that. My chest is hot. We have your count your blessings in the reverse. Love is strange. Um, the tea on you is that you don't know that you got it too good. Somebody, some people feel that you're ungrateful for the partner that you have. And pile number three is like, well, that's how I'm keeping them. No, I'm playing. But, um, yeah, the tea on you is that you don't know how blessed you are. Like, you don't know all the good things you have. Like, you might have a partner that really loves you or that's very loyal to you, but you just, like, don't see it. Or it's like people feel like you don't know that. Like maybe the people feel like you treat your partner very rough. Why am I getting that? Um, the tea on you is that you're hot. Woo! You're freaking hot. Like you are really sexy. Like you're so hot. Like for real. Like you are. That's the tea on you right now. We have your. Oh my god. Glamour, intrigue, and drama. The card came out. Oh, my God. Like, like y'all already know, like, I'm really good at my job. Like, I'm really good. Because there's no way that I was just talking about this. And it literally came true. Like, I, I just. We have here, you missed someone in reverse. And the power of three. The tea on you is that you don't miss anybody. Why do I feel like. But some people have expected you to like to send them paragraphs or like how you been friend of 10 years ago or how you been um cousin that I haven't spoken to since I was five you know like people have been expecting messages from you I don't know if like in a big part of your life just happened you know someone got murdered I'm, oh my god I'm so sorry like that's not even like I don't even know why I'm saying that with such but um don't mind me, okay? Um, but it could either be something like very dramatic or chaotic that happened in your life. But it's like even if something really horrible happened in your life, why would people expect you to hit them up? You know what I mean? Like what the? But that's why I feel like it's more something like a good thing, like a good chapter, like a good beginning, like maybe like a marriage or like a like a. Don't mind the slamming of the doors. Um. Maybe like a, like a slam in the door. Like something good happening. You're like a, a door just opened and you just shut it in someone's face. I don't know. But what I do know is that something significant has, has happened in your life and people are very shocked about it. But people are also 
feeling like you owe them an explanation. Like, did you really get married? Did you really have twins? Did you really just move to another country? Like, something significant happened in your life and, like, people are expecting to hear it from your mouth. I know this is off topic, but it's just, like, reminding me about my thing right now. That basically I'm expecting, right? And I haven't really told anyone, like, oh, hey, by the way, I'm expecting. But everyone knows. And I haven't really gotten so many congratulations, even though I know that the whole world knows because I've told the whole world to tell the whole world. You know what I mean? As like I told people to tell people and I told people to tell other people. And, you know, because it's like, hi, surprise, I effed and here I am. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. To, I don't know if I'm just the only person. Like, let me know in the comments. Like, if you've ever gotten pregnant, like, you felt weird telling people that you're pregnant. Like, you just want people to like, just to find out on their own. But even like if you would post a picture or anything, like, you still would have get the congratulations because I felt like people felt away because I wouldn't tell them in their face. <gasps> But just say congratulations. Like, if you find out somebody got married, like, they, they eloped, instead of saying, oh, my God, you didn't tell me, just say congratulations. Just say congratulations. And anyways, um, back to what, back to your story. Um, It's like something significant happened in your life, and people feel like you should have just hit them up, or that like you should have, like, contacted them, or that like you should have told them, or you, you should have gave them a heads up, or you should have warned them, or you should have told them. But it's like, you didn't really care to. So, the team on you is that a lot of people are talking about you. A lot of people are talking about you because you're the drama right now, but not really in that bad way. Not in a bad way because drama, glamour, and trick is in the reverse. Which, I love this card, but it's in reverse, so that's meaning that you're not really, like, the drama. You're just the main topic. So, like, you are the number one person that people are talking about right now. So, yeah, with you miss someone, it's like, people kind of expected you to miss them. Or miss something about them, but you didn't. It's almost like you're worried about yourself. Well, people are scared of you. That's the tea on you right now. People are scared of, scared of you. I don't know if that you've been very rude or you've been very serious or you've been having like a really straight face with everybody. Um, it's like I hear people saying things and then you just having like a real straight face. Like you not really be, oh my God, guys, do not mind the noise. Also, the tea on you is like people feel like you're going through something right now. Like you're going through some healing. Some sort of like rest period, some sort of like um, recuperation of some sort. Maybe you just got out of surgery. Again, maybe you're just going through some healing moments or you just have to rest right now. Okay. And what we're here is that people don't like the tea on you is that people don't want to come towards you at this, at this current moment because people don't know how you're going to react. It's like people are really scared of you. People are scared of your reactions. People are scared of how you're going to come up. Or what you're going to say or what you're going to do or if you're going to be mad at them. Um, the tea on you is that a lot of people are expecting you to be mad at them. Maybe because they didn't come they didn't come through for you. The power of three in reverse. They didn't come through for you. Or they, did, they weren't there for you in some way. But I feel like you're kind of like fine with it. You're kind of like, thank God nobody was there. Shit. Because I, I don't want to... I don't want to owe anybody any favors. Like, you know what I mean? Like, thank you. <laughs> um, you know what I mean? Like, I'm good. Like, some of you guys, you're not really like a social, social, social butterfly. I say you're social, but I feel like you're more someone that you appreciate more the deeper connections. You don't really appreciate the people that be in and out, in and out. So it's like, you know, when people might feel like you're mad at them, you're actually like, in your own lane you really don't care you know what i mean but people are really scared at you at this current moment so if you feel like you've been like non-approached it's not that people are mad at you 
Pile number three is that people think you're mad at them. All right, let's see. What's the T on my pile number three's life right now? What's the T on my pile three's life right now? Stiff or bored and stuck. So it's like you're going through a very important time in your life. I really don't know what it is. Maybe it's like the start of your 20s. I don't know. But I feel like, or maybe somebody here is just having a grandchild. But it's like a very significant moment in your life. And you haven't really showed any changes in your energy. So the T on you is that you look fine. Like you look okay. Like you look calm. But it's like the T on you is that a lot of people are assuming that you're mad at them or like you feel hurt about something or like you're upset about something. Pile number three. Because she's like holding her chest. Some people feel bad for the way they treated you. But what they don't know is that you don't care. You're not taking it personal. You're not, you're not really taking it to heart. And the reason why you're probably not taking it to heart is because you probably don't really care about them like that. Um, I feel like you, like, that's what I said. Oh, my God. I literally bathed myself with this coke, but it's like you value, like, important connections. You value, like, actual real connections. Like, you don't value, oh, just because I know you, I expect you to be there for me. Da, 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 da. No. It's more of, like, I know who's actually the real ones in my life. You don't have to do more than what you think you should because... Nine times out of ten, I won't care. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have any expectations with people. Let's see, any last messages? Yeah, people don't know what to expect with you. That's the tea on you. They don't know what to expect with you. Although, although you, you do look fine. You see, the signs are with you. You know what? People cannot read you right now as well. People cannot read you. So you might look good, but, like, I don't know why people are assuming that you're upset. The tea on you also is that it's been a big change in your life. There's been a big change. We have your time for change to learn something new, to use technology, gadgets, or wisdom. Maybe, like, you know, the tea on you is that you're wiser now because of something that happened. Um, it's like you seem grown up or, like, you're going through a grown-up stage. And if not, it's like you're going through a new phase, a new teaching, a new learning Okay, so a lot of transitions with this group. The T on you is that people don't know what to expect from you, but a lot of these people, they feel like they've done you wrong. Please tell me, pound number three, in the comments, why do people feel like they've done you wrong? What's the T on this? What's going on with this? Okay, um, I feel like this group, you're very popular. That's the T on you. You're very popular. I feel like a lot of people know you, but not a lot of people get to know you. That's the difference. And pile number three, maybe people didn't show up for you the way that you expect them to this, these current moments, but it's not like you expected it. It's, it's, it's almost like you, you know, it is what it is. Whoever comes, comes, and that's that, right? Whoever shows up to my um, business opening or whatever, who supports me, it's... Whatever, I don't care. So you probably didn't have any expectations. But a point in your life, a moment in your life has really separated the true people from the fake. That's what I'll say. Or not even the fake, just the true people from the people that are really not important in your life. So that's all that I'm getting here. Thank you so much for clicking on this reading. Bye, guys.